Aaron Rodgers misses mandatory minicamp with the Jets. Uh, it was an unexcused absence, and there were all types of rumors about where he might be. Some There were some reports that were saying or implying he was down in South America somewhere uh, on an ayahuasca trip. Gesundheit. But it appears that, Rob, he was actually in Egypt on a trip. So he hasn't yet spoken publicly about it. It'll be interesting when he does that. Hopefully that'll be coming soon. But does that change, you know, your thoughts on him missing the mandatory minicamp? I mean, obviously you, you, you would rather everybody be in camp if they can, but I think knowing that he was uh, – in Egypt, where I've been, Chris, have you ever been? Or are you interested no, in going? I, yeah, I would like. You to should go, go Chris. I, I, I highly I recommend it. Will go. Highly okay. recommend it. Uh, I, I think it's a fascinating place when you see the pyramids, Chris, and the Sphinx. And I went into the pyramid, one of the pyramids. You know what I mean? And you yep. go in, yep. you can't believe it's still standing. You know what I mean? Oh, there's yeah. so much. There's so much there. The first thing you think it about. Was a- it was America <laughs> thousands of years ago. Right. You and, know? Chris, you yeah. think, how did they build it with no equipment? Well, that's what – You know uh, what I mean? Like, seriously. One of the things Aaron Rodgers may be, have been there uh, trying to figure out is like, what, what some reports are saying. How, how they built the pyramids? Yeah. or Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it if he was in Cozumel or in Mexico or something, yeah, we're probably – not that I'm um, making an excuse on any trip being away, but I, if there was some sort of – Meeting set up with somebody special. I know there's a lot of stuff out there. There's nothing official. Uh, Egypt sounds like an exotic place that you couldn't just scrap for going to Mexico for the weekend. So I mean, it sounds. So you more think exotic. it's our? Nah, it, no, it, it, I mean, this I'm saying if you don't, better. if you don't miss, I'm saying, I, I I said that that like you don't want the guy to miss anything if it, if you can do it. But I'm just saying it just sounds better than being in Mexico or somewhere close to the United States. That's I mean, it wasn't, from what we th- we think we know, he wasn't laying on a beach <laughs> in the Caribbean, right? That's true. It was, you go to Egypt, it is, as you know, you've been there, it's, it's kind of an educational yeah. trip to some degree. Um, however... I don't think it makes it any better. Now, I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the world. I don't think it's going to affect how he plays this year, positively or negatively. Yeah, I'm with you. If he plays poorly, it's not going to be because he missed the two days of minicamp. If he plays great, you know, it ain't he was because play he missed great, right, right, right. With was, without him. Right. right. I'm with you on that. Like, Yeah, but I, I do think, and I stand by what I said, Rob, I do still think, though, it was hypocritical and selfish. And hypocritical because he had he had gotten on his soapbox and talked about how anything that's not about winning, we need to get out of the building. And then you skip the first two days of minicamp to go on a trip, a, a good educational worthwhile trip. But still, you could have been with your team for those two days and just set an example. And that's why I think if enough, what if Rogers shows up, but Garrett Wilson decided to go on a trip to Egypt. Uh, would Rodgers have been disappointed? And I get Wilson's young and he's not Aaron Rodgers and all that, but my point is he's the leader of the team. And look, Rob, a big key for this is the players. And the reports are that the teammates didn't know. And I don't know why you wouldn't share it with your teammates. The reports are that Rodgers made the trip while he was rehabilitating from Achilles' injury he clearly was intending on being ready to play by minicamp because he thought he might play in the regular season. So why would you make the trip w- during the two weeks of July where you know minicamp always takes place? I'm just saying there were a lot of other opportunities for him to go to Egypt. And so that's what I'm saying. And the key will be, Rob, how do the teammates feel? Now, they're saying the right things. And they clearly, most of them, look up to Rodgers and really respect him. So it may not be a thing. I'm just saying if some significant players on that team 
while saying the right thing publicly, if inside they're like, man, please, this dude talking about us being here, getting everything out of the building that's ne- that ain't about winning, and he skips mandatory. It's mandatory. We didn't want to be here either. You know, so I'm just saying if they feel that way, that could inhibit his ability to lead. I, I don't think they'll be feeling that way, but I don't know. Ephraim said that some players may, that he would feel a certain way. So that's the key because you don't want it to inhibit or, or, or mess up his ability to lead the team. Yeah, the NFL is a pretty simple league for most people. Either you produce or you don't, and that's what people ultimately look at. Uh, if you're producing, Chris, nobody will bring it up again. If he has a bad year or doesn't play well, then you could look back and say, well, how much was he invested? If they go to a 4-0 star and he throws 12 touchdowns and no picks, I don't think anybody will bring it up or think about it at all. So it's kind of like that's where you are. It just gives you something that you could utilize down the road if things don't go well, but I don't think it defines anything. Yeah, like I said, to me, if he had not said – and the other thing is this, Rob, like even when he was going through the voluntary OTAs, which he did, I mean, and that's a credit to him. He's obviously a veteran. He doesn't have to do those things. He didn't do them his last year in Green Bay. So that was – he could have said, Look, I, I really wanted to be here, work with the teammates. Also, I, I already had a, I had a trip planned uh, beforehand, so I'm not going to be here for the mini camp. Uh, I've let everybody know, you know, so we're going to get a little extra work in now. I mean, that why, why keep it a secret? You know, that that's the thing. I mean, I agree. Look, a trip to Egypt is a is a special trip. Like you said, it's not something simple. It's not something that shows he's just, you know, blowing off the team to go lay out on the beach in the Caribbean with, with some girlfriend or something like that. So I understand where you're coming from with that. But just because it is an educational trip doesn't mean it's any better than, you know, you're supposed to be here. And if you tell us beforehand, they won't excuse it because, you know, they really want me to be here, but we've talked about it. It's all good, you know, so don't don't set off any alarms when you don't see me for minicamp. I mean, all of this, he could have got out in front of this. The Jets could have helped get out in front of this. I don't know, Rob, maybe they were hoping, and there were reports that they were hoping at the last minute he might change his mind. Uh, so that's why they didn't get out in front of it. But, you know, at the end of the day, as you said, it's about how he produces – but part how he produces could it could be impacted if the players have lost faith in him, and, and I don't think that's the case. I, but but, it, but it, none of it makes sense from the standpoint that after he got injured on the four snaps or whatever it was, you know, this dude was out there trying to get back early, right. out there throwing the football. Those were positive signs. When I think most people would have been like, "Dude, go sit down somewhere. You're four years old. Like, what no, are you doing?" Look, you know One what I'm of the saying? Things that convinced like that's me what that yeah, that I thought they could be pretty good with him is that he had he's been all in outside of this. Right, that's what I'm, and, that's you what know, I'm saying. And that right? deserves mention, but it just you know there was the talk of him running for vice president. Yeah, I mean, but that how was, in the world was he thinking he was going to do that and play football? I mean, things like that make you wonder. But but was you that know, him or was that his name was leaked? No, that, he was. I mean, he he meant, he admitted that it, he was under consideration. Yeah, but that yeah, he but, said later that he was under consideration. But I think that 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 works for uh, who was it? RFK? I can't remember one of the Kennedys. Yeah, Robert yeah. Kennedy. You know what I mean? Kennedy like that Jr. that he got more exposure and uh, and clicks to, to his name than ever before. Oh yeah, you know what I Absolutely. mean by putting Aaron Rodgers on that, and then he picked some some woman that nobody ever heard of. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. So I think that that was like last a, week's debate probably helped him out too. So. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. It's- 